Hello everyone, thank you so much for liking my earlier video and welcome to Glenio channel. If you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe this channel to get the notification on useful video. In this video, I am going to tell how to create three column layout using div and CSS. So this is three column layout, okay. So this is columns and this is header and this is footer. Let's begin to write HTML and CSS code for this layout. This is basic HTML structure for every web page. So let's begin to write header section here. I do would be header and uh, another section would be main container here. So I do would be main content. Inside the main content, there will be three different divs, which is, you know, basically columns, three columns. So, div id, column one here, class name would be column, column one, column two, and column three. So, id would be here, column two, and here, column three. So, there is another final section, which is footer div id footer let's close the tag here so so this is html for three column layout okay so let's begin to write css here so i would like to give each different background color for each different section here so let's just copy the background color from here and so this is background color for header section, this is background color for footer section, this is for column 1, this is for column 2, and this is background for column 3. I would like to give 100 pixels height for header section, and same height would be applied for footer section. Sorry. And let's write the common CSS for each column here, using class name, column and common class would be um common css would be width 33 percentage height would be 400 pixel i guess fluid would be left after using the fluid property here i would like to give clear property for footer uh, tag okay so here i'm giving clear property both so that's it so if you didn't save already this file, save this file as HTML file and run this in your web browser. So just look at here. So this is very easy to create. Okay, so let's understand the CSS which is responsible for this three column layout. Back to the notepad plus plus here. This is with 33% which means this is with 33% of parent tag. The height would be 400 pixels from here to here the height is 400 pixel this is fluid property actually fluid property is used to you know position the element either left or right side into the parent element something like this okay so fluid left property basically creating the three column layout here this is if we don't use the fluid property here then this three column layout would be converted into single column layout let's remove this fluid property from here and refresh the page look at here this is single column layout okay so let's know how this property you know basically creating the three column layout do rise uh, do inspect element here So when you give the fluid left for first div, this div goes to a left side and you know column 2 does exist underneath of the first div. For example, if I disable the background color here, you can see the div 2 here. Okay. And if you apply the fluid property for div 2. Look at here. This div fluids at left side and would be started from end of the first div. As you can see here, there is no 
uh, third div is displaying here because the third div is you know hiding behind the first div for example if I disable the background here look at here this is third div and if we apply the fluid property for third div here look at here this would be floated at left side and would be started from the end of the second day so that's it okay so it's really easy to create three column layout you can find the link of this you know find the link of source code of this layout at below video description so what we have learned today we have learned basically how to create three column layout using div and CSS if you found my video is useful please do like subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video